Americans were on the move in 2022. A national realignment is continuing to see people move out of the power centers of the West Coast and the Northeast to more affordable areas of the country. To talk about the trends and what to expect in 2023, Paul Chabot is the founder of Conservative Move, an organization that helps people relocate to areas that match their values. Paul, good to see you. Thanks for making the time for us. Talk to us about the trends in 2022 first. Where are are people going and where are they coming from? Yeah, so 2022 is interesting. The first half was basically a lockdown, shutdown economy, uh, but then people began to really uh, put their feet behind their ability to move. And so where folks are moving to across this country, it's no surprise now, Texas, Florida, South Carolina, North Carolina, Georgia, Tennessee, and Nevada, and they're fleeing blue states. Uh, California, New York, lead the pack, Illinois, Pennsylvania, Massachusetts, uh, Washington, Indiana, Michigan, Wisconsin. And so what you're also seeing this change in 2022 going to 2023 with congressional representation. Uh, the blue states are losing congressional representation in California and New York. And guess where they're going? Uh, Florida and Texas, red states. And so we mm -hmm. absolutely anticipate this to continue a trend line uh, through 2023 as well. As those states uh, really continued to focus on lockdowns and COVID restrictions, you know, 2020, 2021, I mean, people were taken off. Uh, they were, they were, you know, they were, you always were seeing those uh, those moving trucks going down I-95. Yeah, um, right. And uh, my family knows something about this. <laughs> but, you know, people are moving, but also companies and jobs. Tell us That's what right. we're seeing there. What, what have we seen this year so far? Yeah, companies are largely fleeing blue states, especially out of California. Like California has been a driving industry for a large part of the economy uh, for the world or for our country, for that matter, fifth, potentially fourth. But they're losing considerable amount of businesses, over 350 in the last few years. That's definitely seen an uptick. And it's not just major corporations, right? You certainly have, you know, Tesla uh, with Elon Musk. Now there's chatter he might move Twitter, who knows, uh, to Texas as well. But look, it costs more to do business in these states. If you were to look at just Texas to California, our labor cost in Texas, where I am now, originally from California, were 35% less. So if you're a business owner, large or small, you're gonna be able to survive this very turbulent Biden economy much stronger in mm -hmm. red states than in blue states. Yeah, yeah, you know, New York Governor Kathy Hochul uh, believes that making states like hers an abortion sanctuary will attract people and jobs. They're not changing the tax structure in these states. Uh, California's looking at potentially a $25 billion budget gap now. Right. Um, they're really leaning into social issues. Is that a strategy that, that, that's going to work here? No, it's a loser on their end every single time. And, you know, they need to look no further than a recent poll out of 2022. It's not just Republicans that want to leave these blue states. It's Democrats, too. Recent polling shows, look, look California, 70 percent of Republicans won out. 25 percent of Democrats won out. Look at New York, another blue state. 67 percent of Republicans won out and 34 percent of Democrats yeah. won out. It's fascinating. But look, one caveat, if you're in a red state, don't be afraid of those that are moving there. Data consistently shows that more conservatives are moving to these red states and actually helping to keep these red states a little bit redder based on exit polling and Beto and Cruz in 18. We saw that. And I think that trend's going to continue. You're going to see a massive shift of not just families and individuals, but also businesses moving to red states. All right. Terrific. We're going to have to leave it there. Paul Chabot, conservative move. Thanks to you for being here. Merry Christmas. Thanks, Tom. Merry Christmas. Great show. No crooked, crooked establishment. None of that twisting the truth. No talking down don't to me. Tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to think. I trust Newsmax. Newsmax. They don't tell, tell me how, how to think. think. They let, let me decide. Newsmax. Real news. For real people.